Hey everyone, it's Alan Pang from the APANG18 and I'm back with another video. So today's episode video, we have Edo Numo IV, which is known as Eddie Hughes IV, which I'm going to do a podcast video. I'd like for you all to meet my best friend from Full Sail University called Eddie Hughes IV, which is known as Edo Numo IV on YouTube. So I first met you in electronic field production since October 2019, we did, we, which we did our group project. That's right. A, ch- a YouTube channel named Edo Numo Fourth, which is your original channel since 2017. And you also created a second channel called Eddie Coco Second last month in May this year, which yes, is man. your podcast channel. So the yeah. name will be in the description below. Check out his both channels. Okay, so can you tell us where were you from and when did you grow up in? Sure, I will. Um, Originally, I am from, uh, I was born in Atlanta, Georgia in April 28. And where I grew up from 2000 to, uh, I think, probably from 2016 or 2017, uh, we were in Louisiana of uh, Prairieville and it's one hour away from New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Okay, sure. Um, tell me about your, a project you're proud of. A project that I'm proud of, project as in, uh, my own uh, movies or just uh, like from full set or just both? Yeah, yeah. Okay, both? Okay. Well, um, a project that I'm proud of, it's it's really kind of hard because I've, I've made like so many movies, like even like before YouTube, but I guess I would say the project that I'm proud of uh, and I'm going in for uh, YouTube wide for full cell. I liked everything that I made, but for YouTube, this is like something that's really has grown more and more and more, which is uh, my uh, my video about the history of the Thailand duo Raptor. And another project I'm super proud of is the folder project because both of those things have been getting like a lot of like a lot of people are watching it and a lot of people are sharing it and also um my very first video that was called um edo4 opens presents from korea which um the um like right now i'm living in a different place than where i lived at from before at that time and a friend of mine named uh su young aka uh english named tony uh he was getting some stuff from his mother and he was opening them and he told me that um, we should do a video about it because, you know, at that point I wasn't really, I haven't really uploaded anything uh, from that time for, before uh, 2018. For, uh, last time I uploaded anything was in 2013 from YouTube. That's cool. Thanks. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, what are you inspired by? What am I inspired by? I definitely would say the inspiration of uh, pretty much the work I do right now is definitely, and I, I'm kind, I'm a little bit forgetting though, even though like I sort of remember last night. Um, I would definitely believe the people I've been like inspired by to really do this is definitely uh, Spike Lee. You know, he's the guy who made the movie Do the Right Thing, um, Get on the Bus, and so many other classics, especially the reason why I'm inspired by him. And also the late and great of John Singleton, the guy who basically directed, produced everything for Boys in the Hood, a lot of other classics is because they had a DIY style that stands for do-it-yourself style. You know, they, they really were doing this out of their own pocket and also um if you get a chance you know you should definitely see uh like the history of like when we like start making films is definitely a netflix special if any of you guys 
any have a chance to see it called they got to have us that just studies the history of us you know from being in movies from the past to for us to make our own movies so definitely check that out if you guys have any time of uh netflix's they got to have us documentary yeah Mm -hmm. so what do you like to do when you aren't at school or work definitely the thing i like to do when i'm not at school or work is um Often the thing I like to do is just, um, you know, I check my subscriptions on YouTube just to see what's going on. And then like more often than not, I would usually like play on my phone because I, I usually like playing on my phone a lot because it's relaxing me. If any, if you're asking what games I would play on, I have like, uh, not the phone that I'm currently using, but I have another one, which is an iPhone. I've had that since 2016. I only use it for games now, which is uh, Super Penguins and Skyline Riders. Those are like the usual things I do when I come home from school or work. That's usually what I do is just check up on YouTube and just, you know, play games on my phone. That's usually what I do. That's cool. Um yeah. How did you hear about this position video editor? Position video editor, like like a position of video editing? Um, well, I've heard about this, but it's not really that I've heard about this position. It's just that like I've been making like, you know, I just basically been making movies for like such a long time, like on the computer, you know, that it started off ever since like I was actually little and we actually used to have a vcr back in the day and i would just use a vhs um when it all came from there when i was uh 10 years old in 2007 i would uh use window movie maker then uh from there on it went from that abs video editor photoshop final cut pro and adobe and like uh last and foremost what i'm using right now is um iMovie. So basically being a video editor, you know, I've been kicking that, gigging that type of game since uh, 2007 and, you know, been releasing projects. And also from that note, I actually have done videos before, but I think um, the video part of uh, for other channels, I know we'll get to that later. So yeah, I've been basically for video editing, I just been doing it for a while. And then once I heard this school in Florida was offering to basically be like, hey, we can upgrade this a lot further in the year of 2017 because I really needed a school to go to from after, you know, it wasn't really working. I, it wasn't really working out in Louisiana, you know, wait. So it was um when I was in school in Louisiana, I was like trying to find stuff after graduation of 2016. Mm -hmm. And so when I heard that Full Full Sail was like sending me the most letters and stuff, and that's how I just like gotten to basically being like, okay, I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing from there. So to answer your question, the long story <laughs> short is I've been in a video editing position since 2017. So yeah, that's 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 the answer to your question. Okay, that's good to hear. Um. What inspired the two channels named Edo Numa Fourth and Eddie Coco Second? And why did you name your both channels? So the inspiration of this, it's um uh again, um it's it's a real it's a really interesting question because it's kind of like it all like comes back to like my name, kind of like yours when you done like the Aim Peg 18, it's like based off your name. It's yeah. kind of based off my name as well. And also like uh, like two other like short backstories of like one was a, a show I watched called Ed and Nettie where one episode they were uh, uh, Ed's little sister Sarah wanted them to dress up and Eddie had this little doll and he called it uh, Edo. And that's actually how I just came up with that from the jump. And when it came to uh, the second story um, that I've learned up to now is that um, 
the place in Japan, Tokyo, the name that they used to have before Tokyo, it was called Edo. And uh, for the name for both of these channels, I've actually like uh, both of these channels I've actually had further in the past. And also now it kind of gets to the other side of stories of like what I used to do for YouTube, which was uh, like the videos I did for YouTube was just like I would mix like my favorite cartoons such as Ed and Eddie and other stuff. And just like I would just mix it in and th like I've had this sort of thing like um, pretty much the previous channels I had it had like my name on it like one was called Eddie Blue 9 and from 2011 and the other channel like I've said before from 2013 it was like called my full name and then the third one it was sort of like that but then like when it came to like that you know story of my third channel got deleted because I've Put a documentary on there and you know it had korean copyright and i couldn't get it in time so they just they terminated that but thankfully i had another channel which i'm using like and i'm happy i've been here for about two years i mean three years for the third year anniversary for it and number four and also the podcast channel i've had that for a while but you know i'm happy just to have that too just in case you know this one, you know, unfortunately goes to waste. My inspiration for two of these things is because it's my own name and also just because I really like uh, Japan so much. So that's actually how I came up with the names for these two channels there. All right. Um, what has been your favorite class and why? So when it comes to favorite class, are you are you meaning uh, my recording arts, my film, or just like in general, like my whole life? Like it, it I mean, this is like like what what do you mean? Like just in general, just in general? Uh, yeah, just in general. Okay, sure, in general. Okay, so when I was like in school and everything, when I was in school, when I was in basically elementary through high. Uh, I definitely would say my favorite class was um, science, science, and math. Those were like yeah. my favorite ones because math, you know, even though stuff that kind of got harder, like a bit, like I, I was kind of one of the lucky ones that didn't really get to do like trigonometry because that's usually like the hardest thing when it came to it. And science, you know, you just start to learn about how gravity works and how like the whole like how everything works for the world and you know in in a lot of other countries it's different type of gravity too and even like you know they use metric systems as well for film school my favorite man when it comes to my favorite for film school it's pretty hard because all of them were really pretty good even the ones i had to retake i definitely would say my favorite ones i i, I want to i i probably go with a little or a couple but i definitely would say my favorite ones was the history class where we are for a film where we just learn all about the history of it and definitely i say my other favorite at that point was um i don't know i i it's kind of hard because all of them were really fire i think i think my favorite one was probably when I first met you that class when I first met you and also when I got to do uh, the wolf project and also uh, the English were not English but oh 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 it was uh it was something about social media it had something to do with that but this is one like the month when the pandemic started I, I rem it was something to do with that one of my posts I have Selena day and that was kind of like how I was in that class doing that. And I made that on a canvas. And for recording arts, my favorite class, I know that one's a little too soon, especially since I haven't really finished this, like finished graduating that. But I definitely would say my favorite one is, uh, I, it actually, I kind of have nothing for that one, especially not just because I haven't graduated yet, but all these classes, even the ones like, this is also like the course where I had to retake a few class. They were actually all pretty good. You know, they were, they had some decent times at schedules and stuff, especially the other one. But yeah, um, 
Yeah, that's that's uh that's uh my favorite classes of everything in all general. Also history of uh, history of you know when I was in school or anywhere that was really cool to me too. So that's that's those were my favorite class history. Um, probably like. A lot of things from film and a lot of things from recording art. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, how has your experience at Full Sail been? My experience at Full Sail, it's you know, it's been going really good, and it's also like getting super better, especially since like everything is like kind of opening up. Then you know. I know it's like a pretty slow prog uh, progress because of you know what's been happening lately and everything. But what it was like before, it was just as fun because you know I was getting to meet people every day. You know I get to like share ideas with people every day. At first, you know I was I was kind of a little shy, like probably like in the middle of it, like during the 2018 and 2019 era, I was a bit shy, you know, there was like some stuff I had to work on with myself, but, you know, I've turned around and I like everything felt like really lost them. And, uh, you know, it, it's really, really well because I've been meeting new people. I've been having fun with my classes and, you know, I would learn new stuff from my instructors every day, whether I would need extra help or when I not need extra help. So yeah, the experience of, Experience at Full Cell has been really fire. Wow. That's... So, um, what was your favorite short film video you recently made for at Full Cell or your recent YouTube video you made? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not really going for favorites here, so I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna do everyone. And my man Alan the Bow favor here, of so my favorite thing I like the my favorite short film that I made from Full Cell, it was it's it's definitely the Who Am I project and the Wolf and the reason why I liked it so much is because you know there wasn't really any type of like rules or anything that I had to do specifically. I would just have to like really try to find like nice music. And just like just the, the right type of, you know, just effects to add. And really, when it comes to a lot of projects that I've done from that point, it's always been different, like every single time, especially the Who Am I too. Like, I'm not saying like I like these projects because it took the less amount of work. I even like the longer projects that took a lot of work, like um, especially uh, going for these, uh, the second question of like, what's my favorite? No, short film, short film from YouTube, or I don't know if you, I don't think you said YouTube. I, th I think you just said in general for YouTube. So fa another favorite from YouTube. Okay. From my thing, it's definitely, I definitely say it's kind of funny that I'm saying this, but it really is that it is uh my recent one, not the, well, D and D it is sort of there, but it's more likely um, SHE almost. It's definitely the Mini Money one because that was the one I really Mini Money, Raptor, and uh, Folder one. Those have been my really favorites because you know I just put a lot of uh, work into it to edit it the best way I can. And also when it comes to uh, the Japanese reports I've done, I've, uh, at the towards the end of the video I would actually speak in Japanese. And if you're wondering how that has came into the question, it came because i've asked people on my social of like hey you know should i speak english or should i speak japanese and uh, the votes i've gotten for them is both so that's actually how i started to be like okay i'm gonna talk the whole history and everything in english and then when i first found the group or artist i would start talking in japanese and so those were my favorite on YouTube is definitely the ones that's been put on the uploads part of my channel and uh for full cell is the wolf and the who am I projects those are the ones that have been super fire you know yeah I saw that I saw that in YouTube it it takes time to get the, get your project 
Yeah, I definitely, uh, on that note, before we continue to the next question, what was, because I've, I've been a little bit curious, you know, myself about you, of, uh, you know, what was like, the longest so i know i know but i just i just really need to know um what was the longest project you ever had to do like this like had to take like more than just like an hour or so like what was the video that you know that was really super long like that just felt like i worked on this for like more than one hour do you is there any video that you've done that was like like this was like like you know almost a whole day like is there any videos you have on that it's okay if you don't but i've, I've just been really curious of knowing that mm. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the the promotion the promotion yeah. oh you're talking about the history thing where you went from 99 to this year that one or uh, the nice night that one yeah yeah that one i know that took a lot of like because you got to add everything yeah that makes sense okay let's move on to these next questions you're on a roll man i, I really do like these questions here man yeah that's good <laughs> so uh what would be your favorite color my favorite color um it it's definitely like the color of like this like i love just the color green because i just i like the fact that it just represents like good luck like that's just the way i see it is that i just always would see it as like good luck and like just like you know it's the sort of like happiness for me of course like it's very similar to this like this banana which is yellow and i'm kind of like also but you know i'm never afraid of like certain questions i would have to repeat over and over again even if it seems like a question that seems like it's probably like you know you could have just did some research and it's like you could have found it but these are one of the questions i definitely don't mind to be like oh well you know great like repeating i don't remind i don't mind that i gotta do that so definitely my favorite color is uh green it's always been green ever since you know the day i was born it's it's green yeah um what was your favorite song music you made favorite song music i made well on that note i i know it, it seems sort of ironic though i'm saying this because i'm in recording arts but i have not really made a lot of songs on it but i definitely would say my favorite song that i've made like I know later on there will be more and I definitely like will work on them later on of either 2022 definitely like either in the beginning of that or later of that but definitely my favorite song that I've definitely made on YouTube it's not just the jingle I would have when I would start you know these video reports and stuff even like videos I'm not doing reports for the most part I wouldn't even like do a jing I, I mean I would do a jingle. I would definitely say my favorite song is my uh, podcast uh, theme song because you know that one. It was uh, it was a little hard, but I just remember having that like the way it would start of just the piano and stuff. It's just like I remember taking a nap and just thinking, man, how could this theme song go? And then once I realized how this theme song should sound. I just went in on Logic and did my little thing and then just start, basically it's called dubbing where you just record yourself twice, but it's like a different tone. So though that's actually my favorite music project I made is my Edo podcast theme song and also the jingles I would do when I start and end the video. I definitely would say later on when I do these jingles, maybe one of these days I'm going to make a make try to make make the jingle for uh on logic and definitely for the podcast i will try to do my best when it comes to like seasons or like different stuff to like try to add more like beats or something to make like not make it longer but at least just add more to the mix of my podcast theme song you know so that's definitely again my podcast and my jingle for when i do my uh videos Okay, so what kind of people do you want to be with around and 
why why do you like why do you like the most uh type of people i want to be around with it i i don't know i really don't know because you know i've been around like pretty much everybody i've been around people that have been good i've been around people that have been bad i've just been around everybody i definitely would just say like maybe like the people i would like to be around with would be like you know like besides myself and you i guess just like people who are just like really deep into like passion to like just make something and then from that point forward they just uh they just keep it going from there you know just people who just like have a strong passion of just like being themselves and basically you know just you know just going like the extra mile to be like oh i want to like like you know uh not working themselves to death just definitely like a person that would just go beyond the grid like beyond like rules those are like the type of people i've just been infatuated with not like not necessarily rebels but just people who are like pretty much free thinkers you know those are just the people i would like to be around with but you know on this uh on this point, I'm like, I don't really, even like if the person ain't that, but they have like, you know, they just like, you know, we like what we do and, you know, we're completely different from each other. I don't mind that either. You know, I've, I've been around anybody, but definitely if, uh, if, if it's like that, then definitely the people I would be most interested with is just people who go just beyond the grain and just have like a DIY style. But honestly, Anybody for me works out just fine too, you know? Yeah. So um, what was your favorite hobby? Like, what do you do for fun? Do for fun. I know besides playing on my phone and like checking subscription. So like a hobby. So a hobby, it's so hard because like when it comes to hobby, the next thing that happens, it straight up becomes like my next project or something, which is like, I don't know, like making a script for a video or something like, I guess more likely hobby wise is like script writing, you know, script writing and like, like either writing lyrics to my own songs or like translating songs. I guess that can be considered a hobby because most of those, I guess, I can consider those hobbies because most of those things haven't really been taken into action yet, but definitely that's just the stuff I would also look forward to if, you know, playing games on my phone and also, you know, just uh, uh, playing on uh, checking subscriptions ain't enough Then definitely uh, script lyrics and translating, you know, those are my uh, favorite hobby pastimes to do if those things don't fill up uh, my quarters for today. And if, you know, if I don't have anything else to do, then that's pretty much what I go down to. Yeah. Hmm. That's, that's good to hear. Um, is there anything else you'd like us to know? Uh, I'm really thinking too, because it's like, uh, like I pretty much, it felt like I'm pretty much like, all these questions right here pretty much was like self-explanatory to everything um i'm really thinking if there's anything that's left out uh i don't think so no i, I don't think i guess probably what's really interesting is just like you know like last week i was interviewing you and now you're interviewing me like this is just like been a huge turnaround and you know like i said and my words will still be on by by let me reframe. Uh, my words will still be the same of just like, you know, I've been, I'm very proud of you, man. I'm, I'm happy that you, you know, went this far beyond the YouTube and you've been in, in, in the YouTube game for quite a while, like almost the same time I've been in the YouTube game, you know, all like, like I said before, all you literally need is just like that, uh, like the YouTube to just like send you like the plaque and also just verification like and you already got the monetization for ads too like you you already like making it as like big as possible um i would definitely would say like another thing i could share like very openly is like i have autism which is like a special needs sort of thing and also like um 
pretty like pretty soon i really can't wait for you to like please like make an uh an analyzation video because like you know i really want to know your audience like very bad of like who's really watching your channel because you know i've did an analyzation video and i feel you know it's your turn so that's definitely like the last stuff i would like to you know that's pretty much uh all the rest of the stuff that's uh i would like people to know you know and also um another stuff like i said also before another self-promotion uh disclaimer is my book is going to be coming soon called Who Am I For Real from Fast Ed that will be coming later by uh, November or December. I will do my best to keep working on my self, uh, my self autobiography book uh, called Who Am I For Real Fast Ed. So that's definitely the probably, yeah, the last things I will like everybody to know. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm glad to hear your stories. So, uh, well, it's nice talking to you. Uh, thanks for joining today on my episode video of the A Painting. Is there any last words bef before we wrap up? Uh, no, nah, there's not really much else, especially since I've like, you know, shared just about everything and i really can't wait to see what this uh episode really looks like too when it's all edited down and finished into your own way and you know thanks for having me man like thanks you know i'm glad that we both been supporting each other for two years ever since we've uh first met each other and i'm happy i'm very happy to see that you've grown and i'm happy that you're kind of seeing me grown a little bit too so that's definitely my last words. And also to the everyone else watching, uh, you know, I'm glad you guys are seeing me more than uh, probably, I guess you're seeing less of my channel or whatever. But yeah, definitely last words to say is uh, thank you for having me. And I really love these questions. Thanks, thanks for this. I really can't wait to see the videos, man. Sure, sure, no problem. So, I hope you're doing well and good. Keep up with the good work at Full Sail. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. So, before I leave, I have shout outs here, which is our first shout out which is our guest, Edo Numo Fourth, known as Eddie Hughes the Fourth, and Eddie Coco Second Edo's Fourth Channel. Keith Wright, MLG Nugget 1276. Only Maple Leaf, Xavier Matthews, and Eddie Peanuts, 1927. Thank you guys for watching. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. You can also follow me here on social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and LinkedIn. You can also check my portfolio website here. That is all for the video, so if you need anything, please feel free to reach out to me and email me, and we'll see you soon. Bye!
coming up next, the Apang 18. We'll be right back. Keep it here.